Okay, we're gonna be doing some incline bench press. I know the audio isn't great here. We've got some raw audio. No mic here, because I'm charging my phone, um, and so I can't hook up my mic at the same time. So I know, we gotta lift weights. So I've got some weight on here. We're gonna do some incline bench. Let's get to it, let's get to work. So incline bench targets the upper pectoral muscles. So these muscles here get targeted when you do incline bench. So I always do incline bench. Let's get to work. Lightweight, lightweight. Huss. Huss. Reps, lightweight, incline bench. I'm gonna keep a tally here. Incline bench. So that was our first set here of inclines. A lot of uh, people they 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 want to work the upper chest so that they can get that upper chest definition. And I think a lot of it comes from just having a lower body fat which is kind of interesting because, you know, it's, you can lift a lot of weight, but you still don't have that, that definition if your body fat is high. So lower the body fat and you'll get muscles. You know, I always think um, a lot of people have a lot of muscle, but you just can't see it because it's covered by, by body fat. And it's hard to lower body fat. It's hard because diet is, diet is hard. Warm up again. I was in the middle of a workout and then I had to take a break. So now it's like I'm continuing my workout. So it's like, okay, gotta get back into it. Wait, wait. It's like Ronnie says, all right, let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Huss. It's good. Really feeling it here and the shoulders and here. Ah, so I'm gonna get a pump. <clears throat> Last night, uh, well yesterday, my calories were good. They were on target. Um, probably a little bit. I would say they were at maintenance and, or maybe slightly below. And, uh, I feel like when my calories are slightly below maintenance, I'm talking about like maybe one to 200 calories below or, or, or at maintenance or just hovering around maintenance. Um, it, it's harder to get a good pump because my muscles weren't like holding water and glycogen. I was really dry and I'm still kind of feeling that way today. So I'm trying to get a pump here. Like Arnold says, work out for the pump. I'm trying to get a pump. See what time it is. All right. It's been said here. Get back to work. Ah. Ah. Wait. Feeling it. Ah, oh, feeling it. That's three sets of eight. Nothing really heavy here on the incline bench. So we're doing incline. Oh. Oh. Wow. Let's go take a little bit of a rest here. Stay hydrated. Link to all my workout gear in the description of all of my workout videos. You can get everything here on Amazon. People say, how much did you pay? People always ask that. Less than an iPhone. I bought an iPhone. I used it for like a day. I made a video on it. And I was like, oh, this is a really cool phone. And I returned it. I'm recording this with a really cheap iPhone, which I need to get, I need to upgrade. What happens is a lot of times I'm recording these videos and I'm like, 
my phone runs out of storage, so I need to save up some money and get a better phone. But I had a better phone, I returned it, and I bought all this, so good stuff. I think your health is more important than an iPhone. Oh, yeah. Really feeling it today. Just really stretch it out a little bit. Stretch the chest muscles. <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> nice stretch. <sighs> Starting to get a pump in my shoulders and my chest. I feel like I should go a little bit heavier, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit heavier. Let's, let's add a little bit more weight here. It's gonna add about 10 more pounds, nothing crazy. Just add a little bit more weight. Let's add more weight to this one as well. Maybe just do one more set here of inclines. I've, I've already been, I've already done. I've already done, you know, before filming this, I was actually streaming on another platform. And I already did, I've already done, before this, I've already done 12 sets of bench. So I'm already like pretty worked. And I had to take a break. Um, and so I'm just trying to warm up again so I can get back into my workout today. All right, wait, wait, here we go, one more set. Jump to some other pushing exercises. First, take the weight off this bar. So that was the incline bench press, which is, I think, a very important movement. I know a lot of guys they really want to build um, the definition in the upper chest, and uh, I was always the same way. And I realized that. That upper chest definition starts to show when, when you lower your body fat percentage. So that's really when you start getting that definition. So, and it's funny, this is knowledge that's common, but I, mean, I don't know if it's common, but I remember reading about it and I think it was one of Frank Zane's books or one of Arnold's books. I'm a big fan of those guys. Those guys were great bodybuilders. But yeah, subscribe, like, all that stuff. All right, we're back and we are going to lift some weights today so we can train our bodies. So here we have these vintage 20 pound BFCO weights and the round dumbbells. I've got two of them here. Here's the other one. And we're gonna do some dumbbell flies on this bench. Train the chest. If you want workout equipment, check uh, the link to any of my workout videos for all of my workout gear. All right, let's get to work. These muscles aren't gonna build themselves. Here we go, nice light dumbbells.
Yeah. Lightweight, lightweight. That was awesome. I used to have his friend. Well, he's, he's still my friend. And he uh, <clears throat> is a big guy, a lot bigger than me. And he, uh, he would always say that, you know, he would bench really heavy. He was benching in the, th in the threes. And he would always do dumbbell flies with like light weights, like these little BFCOs, like light, 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 light dumbbells. So yeah, it's like to get a burn. So I don't know. I, I have heavier, I have heavier dumbbells, but they're too heavy for me. They're like, I've got some that might be like 30, 40 pounds maybe, but I need to add some weights to them, which are currently being refurbished. So long story short, the next practical set of dumbbells I have that's over 40 or 50 pounds is 80. I can't do flies with 80s, not yet. So we're gonna stick these little 20 pound BFCOs here. Oh, I should write that down so I did one set of flies and go write that down just so I know what I'm doing here. All right, I think everybody's doing them set. Wow, what a pump, what a pump. Mm. Oh, it's starting to feel good. It's starting to get the blood flowing. I think I told you I was working out and I was doing a stream on another platform and I had to stop. So I stopped that and I had already done 12 sets of bench. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me go back to my regular workouts here and post them here on this channel uh, for anyone who, who follows my uh, my content here. I train every day, by the way. I train every day. I don't. I don't. Uh, I do. I don't take days off. I mean, it's like, well, you, you lift weights every day. No, but I, I believe in working out every day. So if I don't lift weights, I'll go surf, or I'll go run, or I'll go for a long hike. I count that too. Any type of activity that I feel is considered significant, I consider it training. So that's what I mean by train every day. Right? So that's just what I mean. I certainly don't mean I lift weights every day. Uh, I think this is day six for me of lifting weights in a row, so I'm reaching the point where I probably should take a day where I go for a run, but it's been raining a lot here. All right, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write down my, uh, my set here. Let's see what time it is. We're doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and do another set here of these dumbbell flies with these vintage BFCO weights. So vintage weights. Vintage weights. We're set here. Here we go. Train your body. Oh, it feels good.
third set of light dumbbell flies with a little vintage BFCO dumbbells. Wow. 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 Really feeling it. Really feeling it. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of my shoulders, which is probably not good. You really want to feel it in your chest. And I'm trying, when I'm, when I'm doing the movement, so when I come up, I'm trying to flex the chest when I, when I do the movement because you want to feel it in your chest, right? Sometimes what I'll do is when I'm working out, people think this is weird. I'll do this and I'll try to like just squeeze my pecs. My fingers are like trap your fingers. If you could trap your fingers in your pecs, you know, that's, that's that inner chest. Um, I don't know if there's really an inner chest muscle. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just know there's an upper and just there's an upper chest, right? So, but get the pump throughout. <sighs> I kind of want to do one more set, but I think I probably should stop here with these with these flies. So yeah, train your body. Uh, if you want to access any of my workout gear, link is in the description of all my workout videos. You can get everything I have to work out, so you can train your body too. Stay strong. Welcome. We are going to be doing some tricep work today with a rope. So we're going to be doing um, tricep, um, overhead tricep extensions with a rope to work the trapezius muscle, which is supposedly a big part of your arm. Uh, and we're going to use this rope and this chain to do it. So let me come a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll adjust the camera angle. So you see up here, I've got this here, and I'm gonna hook up this chain to this, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna pull on this. So we're gonna start with the overhead ones. So now I'm gonna back up a little bit here. And now I'm gonna add weight. So I'm not gonna add that much weight here, okay? I'm only gonna use uh, maybe 20 pounds to start. Um, this is a movement that I don't use a lot of weight for. As always, uh, if you're interested in any workout equipment, I have my full home gym in the description of all of my workout videos. I bought all of it on Amazon and it's awesome. I love it, I'm very happy with it. So, all right, <clears throat> here we go. Make sure my microphone's on, I'm not drowning out the camera. All right, let's do it, lightweight. One thing you wanna make sure is that these are equal length, so you're, you're gripping both. Now, normally you can just lean forward. I put one foot forward just because, in case I fall or something, I can catch myself. Here we go. Oh, this is light. I'm not gonna count this as a set. It's too light. It's the warm-up set. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna move the camera a little closer so you can get a better look at the movement. Let's come a little closer here. All right, I think you can see me better now. All right, yeah, it's better. And then let's go ahead and add some more weight. I'm just gonna add 10 pounds. I'm not gonna add 20 more pounds. I'm just gonna add 10 more pounds. It's hard to go heavy on this because it's hard to get it moving. Um, all right. Okay, now this is gonna be my first work set. I need to work on my, well, I need to work on everything, but I'd like bigger triceps. Build the body, build the mind. Here we go. Lightweight. Slam it so I go slow when I don't track. There we go. I think that was 20. Oh, what a pump. You feel it right here. You feel it right here. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. All right, I'm going to write that down so I can keep a tally of how many sets I've done. So this is 
overhead rope tricep extension, I guess that's what you could call it. And that's my first set. That's my first set. So yeah, first set. Should I do a couple more sets here? You can stretch the triceps. Just be careful when you stretch. Um, just by pulling like that, nice and gentle. It's supposed to be warm before you stretch, so you don't want to hurt yourself, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. This is a nice power rack. It actually has dip, dip adjustments and stuff. It's got all kinds of stuff. I just saw five raccoons cross the street, by the way. Like before, before filming this, I was just... Five raccoons. <sighs> couple more seconds, a couple more seconds. I'm still feeling the burn. <clears throat> I'm gonna lower the mic a little bit so it doesn't draw you out with my breathing. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put a different foot forward this time. <sighs> I'm not even counting. Ah, it just burns. I have this friend at the gym. He just does these until he just like does like 40 of these. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. I asked him, how many reps do you do, man? He's like, oh, I don't know, man. 35, 40 reps. And he does like 20 pounds. He's huge, huge dude. Wow. Wow. So that's two. Two sets. I can do at least three sets. At least. At least. People say it's too much volume and stuff, but I don't know. I, I've I've worked on off. I've worked out off and on over the years and like I don't know, different people respond differently, right? It's like my buddy says, you just gotta find out what works for you. For me, uh, it's higher volume, right? That seems to work for me. I like a lot of volume. It just my body seems to respond better to high volume workouts. Hmm. Do at least one more set here. Do some pull-ups. No, I'm not doing pull-ups today. Tomorrow I'm doing pull-ups. This is today I'm doing pushing exercises. So tomorrow I'll I did some pull-ups last time and this has got a neutral grip. So you can go up and down. I don't want to mess around. And uh yeah Pull-ups are fun. Okay. It's my good luck clink. Four, five, six. That's 10. That's 20, but you know what? I'm going to keep going. That's 25. That's 25. 25 reps on the overhead tricep rope extension. I guess that's what you call it. Oh, I love the rush. I love the rush. Stay strong, my people. Stay strong. Okay, we're going to be doing some tricep rope pushdowns. I'm just going to do a warm-up set. I'm not going to count this. I'm going to stick my butt out and then just come down. Ah. 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 Ah.
it's a nice warm up set. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the weight. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of weight here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and put on some bigger weights here so that we can do something a little heavier. And these are good for your triceps. That's what people do these for. Triceps, so it's a tricep workout. <clears throat> All right. And I'm just gonna put one here and then one over here on the other side. I'm just gonna do 50 pounds, nothing crazy. Let's put on two 25 pound Olympic plates. And then we're gonna do another set of these tricep rope pushdowns. I'm gonna go ahead and write down what I'm doing so I can keep track. Easy to lose track of how many sets you're doing when you're working out and talking. Here we go. Here we go. Was a good set. That's another set. The camera angle's a little off. There we go. Whew, take a little break there before I do another one. Ah, that was a lot of work. I'm gonna write that down. So that was one. <sighs> Real workouts. I drink two of these a day. the triceps. I'm going to do some, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to get a pump. I really want to get that pump. All right. Ah, 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 Two sets, tricep rope, push downs. Mm. Oh. I think it's starting to rain again. It's been raining on and off. Earlier today, I saw five raccoons cross the street. I kid you not, five raccoons. They just it's like this whole family of raccoons is living here. And it's funny because one of them wanted to come in one day. I made a video of the raccoon and I tried to knock on the door to scare it. And it sounded like the raccoon was knocking on the door. It was really funny. And I put it on Instagram and it got a couple thousand views, but then it, it was just funny, those animal videos. But the raccoons, they freak me out. I don't like the raccoons. And they're cute. Hey, I felt bad for them. I saw the whole family and like one of them made a sound and it was like waiting for its friends, you know, the raccoons. But I mean, they live out here, right? We're, we're inside, we have our houses, but they're out there, the animals, you know. There's raccoons out there, there's deer, there's, there's cougars, there's bears. I saw a bear a couple, couple months ago swimming across the lake. Big, 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 big black bear. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm going to do... I'm gonna sit here. I feel like I should do another set. I should do one more. At least one more. So that's three sets. I'm not satisfied with my tricep work. I feel like I need to do more tricep work to really, really burn the triceps out. <sighs> Stretch. Mm. 
Whew. Feels good to stretch my legs too. Yesterday I did legs and my legs are destroyed today. I wanted to go for a run today and I keep putting off my running. I'm actually pretty good at running. It's one of my strengths is, is running. I have a very good natural cardiovascular health, which is good. I'm lucky and it's great, but my legs aren't very strong. So that's my biggest hold up with running. What was that? Thought I heard something out there. All right. It's a lucky clank. Tricep push downs with the rope. Great for building the tricep muscles. Keep going. Ah, yeah. What a rush. You ever work out so much? You just feel like that, that invincible rush. So that was four sets. Oh, starting to get a pump. Arnold Schwarzenegger says, he says, says that poster, the worst thing I can be is the same as everybody else. I love that. I collect Arnold's books. I collect vintage weights. I collect bodybuilding memorabilia. I mean, I'm a collector. I collect a lot of things, math books. Um, so yeah, I love collecting things. Things that have history, things that have meaning, things that people have used, you know. feel it really right. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it. I feel it. It feels, it feels like bigger. Yeah. I could feel it grow. I feel like there's blood in there, but like, I feel like, it, I feel like it could bit, it could get more pumped. So I'm going to do, let's do another set here. Really try to get that pump in the tricep, really work those triceps. It's a big muscle, right? So the tricep is a big muscle. So it needs, I think it needs a lot of work. It could be, could be it. I don't know. Let's see. for me with the tricep rope uh, push downs because that was that was intense how many was that that was five that was five five sets it's five sets now we're gonna I'm gonna switch exercises I'm gonna do something else welcome today we're gonna be doing some lateral raises to work the side delts we're going to be doing it with some dumbbells here that I got on Amazon. These are the yes for all dumbbells as always subscribe. If you want more fitness content and other content, I train every day. I believe in training your body and training your mind. These are the yes for all dumbbells. All of my workout gear is in one convenient link in the description of every single one of my workout videos. So we're just going to start with some lat raises. We're just going to do some lat raises here. So I'm going to do them bent over and I'm going to swing my arms out. And I'm not saying you should do them this way. This is just the way I'm going to do them. Just to really work the side delts. Us, too much weight. Us, 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 us. That's good. That's good. Just eight, just eight, just eight. And... That's a lot of weight for me. I don't know how much weight is on there. I've basically got my yes for all dumbbells. And then I've put, wow, some other plates on here. These orange plates, uh, let me just show you. These orange plates are some vintage plates that I restored. Uh, they're Robert's weights, because I collect vintage weights. But the actual handle and the black plates, and you can get heavier ones, are the yes for all dumbbells. Oh, let me just stretch out the shoulder. 
Really working those side delts. So that was one set. I'm going to count that as a set. These are lateral raises. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate. Now I'm going to use lighter weights. I'm going to use my vintage BFCO dumbbells. I'm going to do a lighter set, also bent over and swinging up. Much lighter. Get that pump in the side delts. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So I'm going to count that as a set two. And I'm going to rest and I'm going to go up and wait. I'm just going to repeat the process. I need to get more dumbbells or more handles. I have more plates and I should make a video on this, but my plates, um, they're sitting in a gallon of super strong vinegar because I'm, I'm cleaning them so I can um, spray paint them. I like having fun colors. I don't know. People are like, oh, you should leave them. Don't restore your weight. I don't know. Wow, a Schwann's truck just drove by. Schwann's. I used to have a friend whose, whose dad worked at Schwann's. He was a good guy. I almost got a job there once, but I didn't. Glad I didn't. All right. I'm not ready yet. Let me get some water. Hmm. Let's see what time it is. Time to get busy, All right? Time to get busy and lift. I think that's what time it is. Yeah, it's almost three o'clock. All right, back to the heavier weights. Way too much weight. Here we go. that pump I'll show you the form so you go up and out like that and it just works it right here and right here and that's what you want right you want to get those muscles worked all right rest a little bit and then we're gonna come back down to the 20s just alternate heavy light heavy light I don't know how much that is I should know because you can buy the yes for alls on Amazon. Then I added some weight, but I forgot. I think that's a lot, like well, for me. So certainly a lot heavier than the 20s that I'm using for lat raises. Oh, oh I forgot. Tonight, tonight is yoga. There's a yoga class I might go to tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna go. I really wanna just, I just wanna play video games. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I just need a break. Whew. All right, go back to the 20s here. Lat raises with the 20 pounders. I do another set. I, I don't take too much rest between sets. People say, oh, rest two to three minutes. Yeah, I think that's true if you're lifting, like, you know, if you're, if you're doing like really heavy and like, I'm, I'm just working the muscles here. I'm just trying to get a pump, you know? Sometimes I lift heavy, sometimes I lift light. What's better? I don't know, I mix it up, right? I think it's good 
the train heavy and the train light. It's, it's good. They both have their pros and cons. If you look at the ideal rep range for maximum hyper, hy, hypertrophy, I think I said that right, like maximum muscle gain and strength, it's between 6 and 12 reps is for muscle size. That's the, all the studies show between 6 and 12. So most people do 8, you know. But I find my best results come when I do a lot of volume. So I'm just going to keep doing it. Got to do what works for you, right? If something's working for you, keep doing it, right? All right, this is probably, probably going to be my last set here. These are the yes for all dumbbells. Awesome, right? Awesome. Wow, wow. What, what a pump. What a pump. I'm going to take these off. I don't think I'm going to be using these anymore today. Well, I might. I might do something else with them, but not, not right now. Whew. How many sets was that? I did, I think that was five sets of... Five sets of lateral raises. Yeah. Whew. Stay strong. Okay, let's get to work. We're gonna be doing some front raises here with my vintage BFCO weights. These are round dumbbell weights. Do front raises. I'm gonna put a little bit of bend here in the arms and, and I'm gonna lean over a little bit. So really wanna focus on the front deltoids. Ah. Ah. I'm going to go slow. Ah. Ah. See how you slow you go slow. Ah. Ah. I want to feel it in those front delts. Ah. 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 Okay. I'm going to count that as a set, even though it was pretty light. Now, I'm going to increase the weight. I'm gonna grab the 20s. I'm gonna rest a little bit, and then we're gonna put some swing in it this time. I'm trying not to involve um, other muscle groups when I do it. I'm trying to mainly involve just the, the front delts. So trying to adjust my form to where I feel like I'm raising it with my front delts. I feel like it's really easy to feel the front delts when you hold and you're, and you're going in the negative direction, but that's also when you tend to use your biceps, and I'm trying not to use my biceps. I'm trying to target the muscle, right? Um, I'm trying to focus on a specific muscle, right, and grow that muscle, so you want to train that muscle. <sighs> wow. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Someone is uh, mowing their lawn out there. I don't know if you can hear that. Someone's doing some weed whacking or maybe it's like they're using a blower or something. Not quite sure uh, what they're doing, but it's good they're getting their yard work done. All right, I think I'm ready. Oh, maybe, maybe not yet. That, that, that one set really took it out of me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I'm ready. Let's put some swing into these. It's near the end of my workout. I'm getting tired. Ah, that's it. Swing. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Two sets. I'm going to count that as a set. These are front raises we're doing. Front raise. Two sets in of front 
raises. Wow, I feel it right here, right, I'm starting to feel it. Whew. Really feeling it. Hmm. This might be the last thing I do in my workout today. I, uh, I think this might be it. I think it's time to eat, get some food. Um, but yeah, not sure, not sure. <clears throat> hmm. I think, think I'm going to do one more set. I need to stretch my back here. It's, oh. Maybe I should go to yoga tonight. Mm. Feels really good to stretch. Oh. Yeah, stretch, stretch the muscles. Frank Zane uh, was his bodybuilder. And he, in one of his old books, he recommends that you stretch after each set, which is something that it's just unheard of. People don't do that. You don't see guys stretching their chest after every set at the gym, you know. But Frank Zane was, was a master of his body. That's, that's what he did. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the 20s again. I, I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and... Do that. Lightweight. I'm not counting. I should always forget to count. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's going to be good for front raises. I don't think I'm going to do any more front raises. I think, I think that should be it. Yeah. I think it's it. It's time to quit with the front raises. Welcome. We're going to be doing some light dumbbell bench press and I'm going to be using some weights I have here. These are my yes for all weights. So we're we'll just get to work right away. So let me show you how I'm going to do them. I'm going to start by doing a set here so you see how I do them. So I'll get on the bench, lean back, just rest back. we we'll do a neutral grip. Okay, we're going to do a neutral grip this time. So one, two, three. Good. We're gonna leave it at 15 here. 15 reps of neutral grip dumbbell bench. I'm gonna adjust the bench here and move it back just a tad here so that when I drop the weights, uh, the weights fall on the padding here on the floor. So these are for the chest muscles. I usually uh, uh, don't do these, but I thought I would start doing them. And um, these weights, one of the problems is that they're not that heavy. So I need heavier weights, and the ones I have that are heavier are actually too heavy. So you can get heavier ones like these. In fact, if you check uh, my workout gear, it's in the link is in the description of all my videos here. Just my workout gear. You can see my workout gear there, and these are the yes for all dumbbells, and you can get them in different uh, uh, different weights. You can get them in different weights. So I actually don't know how much weight is on here because. I, I, you have to add up all these plates and the bar, and then these are vintage plates that I've painted that I've painted orange. See, these are vintage plates that I've painted orange. So let's go ahead and do another set here, working the uh, chest muscles. And so we're doing uh, neutral grip, neutral grip bench press, bench press, dumbbell bench press with a neutral grip, which is not something I normally do. But I thought, let's do some neutral grip work. 
just to get a different angle on the muscle. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger would always talk about you know, hitting the muscle from all the possible angles this, to get full muscle development. Good. Ah. 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 Yeah, feels good. Feels good. Let's drop them. Ah. Lightweight. Lightweight. That's that's two sets. Mm, neutral grip. I'm gonna move the mic so I don't drown you out. The sun is starting to come out. The sun is starting to come out. I really want to go for a run today, but I don't know if I should. My, my legs are just destroyed. I went a lot heavier than I usually do on the squats yesterday. And I felt like I woke up this morning. I thought, wow, uh, I'm sore in places that I wasn't sore before. So maybe I'm really doing the squats right this time. So yeah. Huh. Fresh air. Smells really good outside. It's nice to see the sun again. Yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna write that set down and we're gonna do another set here of neutral grip, dumbbell, uh, bench press. So we've done two sets so far. This bench, by the way, is awesome. This is the Lusper bench. Again, it's in the link in the description with all my workout gear. I know I say it all the time, but people always ask, and I get emails like, where'd you get your workout gear? I got it all on Amazon. That one link has everything, everything you need. I probably should put it like in a more prominent place. Ah, here we go. Lightweight. was 15. That was 15. Oh, that hurt. I could feel that. That was a lot. 15 reps. I've done three sets of 15. Neutral grip bench press with the dumbbell. I like the, I like the neutral grip. I feel like I get a better stretch. I, I don't know. It just really stretches. When I do flies, for some reason, when I do flies, the stretch bothers me because when you do flies, you're doing this. When you're doing the dumbbell bench press, you're doing this. And neutral, you're doing this. So it's a different angle. I just feel like the neutral, I don't know. I like it. You have to be careful that you stabilize the weight correctly though. So it's, you know, start light. But yeah. Feeling worked. Then we're gonna do one more set here oh, of neutral grip, bench press. Let me just stretch out my back here. Just, oh, it feels really good to stretch the back. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna have a nice post-workout shake when I'm done here and have uh, some bananas and blueberries in the shake and stuff. I love bananas and blueberries. Here we go, another. Another set of dumbbell bench press, neutral grip, 
Stay strong, right? Here we go. That burns, that burns, that burns. One more, one more rep. Oh, that's it, no more, no more for me. That's it, that's it. My chest is destroyed. Destroyed, destroyed, completely destroyed it. Oh, gotta stay strong, right? Train hard, stay strong.